a storm coming And I need a hand to hold With the fear of being here on my own With the winds blowing And the leaves they turn to gold Like they did with you those summers ago up at the tea rooms and we've been for a walk over the aqueduct but the weather's not brilliant um luckily we went for the walk before the winds have started but it's started to pick up again properly on it now yeah so we're just chilling in the van in the warm there he is what you doing playing the game like always no just not like always and the doggos are nice and toasty because they got soaked. Him, again, absolutely hated. Um, yeah, we've been to this aqueduct before, so I've not done like a lot on the aqueduct. If you want to go and have a look at our old vlog, I think it's like our third ever vlog. Um, when we went to Abbey Green Farm, we went also went up to the aqueduct. But yeah, um, it's pretty much the same. It was nice and quiet though compared to when we went last time. Last time it was really, really busy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice and quiet. Yeah, it was quite nice, even though it started peeing down again. But, but luckily we missed this wind, because I wouldn't have liked to have been on it in this. Just stop jumping. <laughs> The Ponce Casulta Aqueduct, also known as the Stream in the Sky, and just simply Ponty to the locals, carries the Langoclin Canal across the valley and the River Dee flowing far below. The structure stands 39 metres high above the River Dee and over 300 metres long, and is the highest and longest aqueduct in Britain. The cast iron structure is used by narrowboats and pedestrians and is part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site, consisting of 11 miles of the Langoclin Canal and 31 other listed structures such as embankments, tunnels, viaducts and aqueducts. Construction of the 18 stone piers which carry the aqueduct was started in 1795. Once the stone piers were complete, cast iron supporting arches and water trowel sections were manoeuvred and bolted into place. The aqueduct finally opened in 1805, having taken 10 years to design, build and test. Today, both narrowboats and pedestrians can brave this towering structure and take in views of the valley far below. Pedestrians are protected by a metal railing when walking along the towpath, but no such luck for the boat as on the other side of the canal is just a sheer drop. This is truly a spectacular sight to behold and we highly recommend you come here. Just make sure you have a head for height, unlike Doug. Good morning campers. Um, it was a bit of a wet and windy night here last night. What was that? You just put your stuff away because you never do. You never do it Don't know what's up with him this morning. I think he got up on the wrong side of bed. He's proper grumpy. Is he mad? <laughs> I haven't even taken these two out yet. They uh, really need to go out for a week, but it's blowing a hooli and peeing down. They already got soaked yesterday. Um, it went quite nice yesterday afternoon, we went out for a ride on the scooters, didn't take the camera with me, uh, but yeah, it was really nice, apart from walking over the aqueduct, and the winds have got up to about, what, 30 mile an hour? Nah, it was a little gentle breeze. It was, it was a bit scary. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, we definitely want to come back here because it's a really good park up. We're waiting for everybody else to get up and get ready because we're going to go to the tea rooms for breakfast because it's £10 park and if you go and eat in the tea rooms, it, you then get £5 of that back. So yeah, it's a really good little park up. There he is, Mr Grumpy watching Bry. Hopefully Bry will be able to cheer him up a little bit. Manchester Van Live. <laughs> Is this grumpy bit come from? You are grumpy. I'm not. I'm trying to move around the van, sort things out, and your feet are across there. No. They're not now, but they were. <laughs> and I got a room to do an Olympic exercise. Oh wow. What's what's so bad about that? Do some exercise. I'm old. <laughs> Older fat. And I'm, I'm unexcisable. <laughs> What? Unexcisable. <laughs> What's that? This can't be as the exercise. <laughs> and my feet's burning on the roads we used to walk, but the rivers walked along with us. So we have come to Chester because Mr P is going to view a wedding, wedding venue with his daughter. We're at Little Roadie Car Park. Car Park. Um, is that just what it's called? Yeah. Is that a search for sites? I don't know, I just know about it. Oh, yeah, well, Stephen grew up kind of around this area. Um, but you can walk straight into Chester from here and it's got parking. I'll take the camera out in a minute when it stops peeing down and show you the parking. River D's in front of us. River D's just that way? Yeah, in front of us. That yeah. way. I ain't going over there though because it's peeing down. And these two have already been so up once this morning. You can park overnight. Yeah, you can park overnight. There's some, I don't know if you can see on the camera, some vans over there, some motor homes. There's a camper over there. And they do, seem to be doing some work on it, don't they? Yeah, there must be some around here. There's probably a club defence or something. But yeah, uh, big go car park this if you uh, wanted to walk into Chester. So we're just waiting in the van making brew because um, Stephen's ex is late. That's like a just a thing that happens, isn't it? <laughs> it's supposed to be going in for two and uh, we reckon it's going to be about half past. You only get three hours and then you have to pay for more parking. Yeah, um, £5.50 for three hours in. So we're just anything more than three and a half. Wait and see, but we've got to be going by half four because we want to get on the road and get out of the, out of the wind. It's pretty bad today, isn't it? Uh, it's not bit, um, I'm alright, you yeah, know, I'm not that windy. We weren't too bad last night because we were parked between Tracy and Andy's van and Andy and Claire's van, so we were a bit sheltered with it, but they got the brunt of it, really. <laughs> oh, kettle's boiling. So I'm just going to let that brew for a minute and then we can have a cup of tea. Um, we're not very hungry because we had massive breakfast at the tea rooms this morning. Well, Stephen had a massive breakfast. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> There's a really good park up that, so we're definitely, definitely be going back. Eight quid for a daddy breakfast. Was it eight or seven? Eight. eight. Seven was for the vegan. Eight pound for a big breakfast. I had a Belgian waffle with Nutella and a massive hot chocolate, which was really good. Cost me a fortune. <laughs> I think it was eighteen pound for both the breakfasts, but and it was ten to park for the night. But you get five a back if you go into the tea room and eat. So we got five a back. Um, so yeah, definitely 100% worth it. Loads cheaper than a campsite and in a really, really good location. And this is another really good location. Um, you can't really beat these park ups. 
What was that? We're not staying overnight here. No, I know we're not. We've got to go back to work tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we're going on but to we, stay. we will. We will come back and stay and go into Chester in the summer. Yeah. Well, it was warm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bays on this side. Yeah, there's loads on the other side oh, as well. Man, like you say you've got three motorhomes over there, two wagons, and it goes right down. Yeah. So probably another twenty bays down there's there. There's a lot of parking, but yeah, it would be ideal for the summer coming to visit Chester and just go into Chester and have a meal and a drink, and walk back to the car park and stay in your van overnight. Carry the beer, can you? Can. <laughs> That's no, not bad. So Stephen's going to go and view this wedding venue with his daughter and his ex and I'm just staying in the van because I don't think they want me there. Um, I'm just going to stay with the dogs anyway. Yeah, but they booked the wedding. I'm all invited done. to the wedding. No, um, they booked the wedding at this venue but now they're looking at it because it's all set up for... It's dressed it's dress for a marketing ploy so Chloe, Stephen's eldest who's getting married wants to go and see it which is understandable. Um, but yeah, they were supposed to be going in for two... Uh, what time are we on now? Ten past. Ten past two. And they're on the way now. They're, they're on the way. They're going to be. I reckon it's an half uh, an hour half drive. Hour yeah, hour. from where they are. So I've just brewed up. He can have a cup of tea while he's waiting, and uh, steam coming out of his ears. <laughs> now the wind's blowing, and I'm right back here again. It might take a while, but I understand that I keep. We're on our way home now. The weather is pretty scary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, we've been blown all over. But we just want to say we'll be at the, be at the NEC on Saturday. What's the date? Anyway, the Saturday of the NEC. Um, next Saturday. Week. Next Saturday. Saturday coming because this will probably be out on Tuesday. So from 1 p.m. every day on the great british seaside hall four um a lot of your favorite people from social media instagram youtube and uh, facebook will be in there meeting people so we're going to be going in just to say hello to everybody so if you are there and you see us and you want to come and say hi come and say hi we'll have some we're stickers there on a saturday. we're there saturday. We're on a saturday just one day uh, but yeah come and say hello and get some stickers we've still got quite a few to give away so just come and give us a, a nudge and say hello and you can meet us and you can meet us um yeah until then i will see you at the nec see you later bye-bye